anybody had told me that Hidara would do this to me, even in my dream, I would never believe it. I love her with all my heart. And she made me believe she felt the same way for me. What a fool I was to have believed her. Onyeka, you are not a fool. There is no shame in what happened. Rather, she would be the one that would live with it for the rest of her life. Forget about what happened and move on. You don't get it. It's not as easy as you think. I can't forget Chidera. How can I forget her when everything around me reminds me of her? I think about her every minute of the day. I sleep and wake up thinking about her. I can't live without her. You have to try as much as possible and move on. Because she has moved on. She left with Sophia to the city this morning. Probably she'll be leaving the country soon to be with her new husband. She has moved on. Why can't you do the same? Try. Odera lost something in you. It's quite unfortunate. She does not realize that. But you should be proud of this. Is that you? It's me, this is me. <laughs> Where did you come from, Obudoibo? Uh, America, right? <laughs> Bro, you are very right. So, so right, eh? See, I came in two days ago. Uh, I was discussing about you with my mom this morning. <laughs> She told me it's been long you last visited your own mother's people. It's not fair now, my brother. That is not fair. What have we done to you? See, let me tell you something. My mama is very angry with you. So, so angry with you. Or is it because you, your mama died? You lost your mom? I visit, honestly. It's your mother who is not always at home anyway. Was she at home when I visited three months ago? What? Oh. Three months ago was the last time you visited your own mother's people. You know, Come on, mama, brother. No, this no, is no. not fair. Now, this is not fair. Yeah, this Gunna, is not this fair. This is not what we'll discuss here on the road. People will now start staring at us. I'm so excited seeing you. I didn't even know you were back in town. You know what? I will come to the house mm -hmm. so that you'll give me my own American goodies. Mm -hmm. Even though us here. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. You know what? I am rather coming to see you. In fact, I am coming this evening to see you. Are you serious? I said I'm coming this evening to see you. I am you. waiting for My you. My own brother. <laughs> 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 hey! <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Hold on. I'm coming to the house. Die! <laughs> wow, Papa man! Oh, me. I'll see you. <laughs> So please take it easy, it's very very painful. I know, just calm down, eh? Oh yeah. Jesus. It's a final spring. Yeah. Oh, oh. Please take it easy. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Easy, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. God. Jesus. It has entered. It's a minor dislocation. Okay. 
Ah, <laughs> good now. One name is here. Please, Uncle, please take it easy. Do not run with this leg. Only just okay. trot. Ah, <laughs> good now. One name. Don't tell me you are still doing this. Doing what? You mean bone setting? Yes. Of course, now Coco Apple Cobb and what the guinea is Oh, yeah, God. Hmm? Hmm? You know, sister, it will amaze me. <sighs> Straighten it, straighten it. Hmm? Um, I'll be waiting for you. I want us to talk. Okay, fine. Just give me a while, eh? I'll be done. It's okay. All right. Oh, yeah, God. <laughs> you know, sister, amaze me. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting. All right. So what are you saying, Guna? Um, yes. Oh, you see, what I'm saying here is, uh, you need to harness this skill of yours, brother. Come on, you don't know what you have. You don't know what you have. You are just wasting in this village. Listen, you see what you're doing here? This is what the whites cannot do over there without the help of machines, bro. If you just step into school and study a course on this, money is calling you. Money is knocking on your door. Trust me. You are going to come out as one of the best surgical doctors ever. By the way, um, where did you <laughs> stop in school? One name, oh. <laughs> I finished at SS3. You know, I came tops in all science subjects, but that was a long time ago. Onyi, the point here is, it, it's not how long or how short the time is. The point here is, are you ready to refresh your brains and take some exams? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, but I don't have money for that. Oye, I feel moved to help you harness this, your amazing skills. Yes. You know what? You follow me back to the States, enroll into a school and study a course related to this. <laughs> You're wasting in this village. Couldn't I be serious? Be of so course fun. I am serious. I'm not kidding here, man. I am not kidding. I want to help you. You're my brother. All right? See, you are living with me back to the States. We'll spend some time in Abuja. Get your papers ready. Off you go, brother. Uh, good night, you. you. You want to take me to America with you? Come on, brother, come on. Your mother is my father's elder sister, all right? What are friends for? Let me tell you something. I've gone to the States and I've made money. Cool cash. By the grace of God, I am what I am today. See my car. You don't want to ride a car? What are, what are brothers for? I will help you. You want to put me back in school? Ugonna, you go in there to study a course on say. this and you're making a lot of money. I don't know what to say, Ugonna. Come on, brother, Thank come on, come on. God bless you. God bless you. It's okay. God bless you. Honestly, I, I, I didn't expect this. You see this kind of car? You own it one day. Relax. Sure oh, brother. share up, man. Share what's all this? Ah. Man. Share up. Come on. God bless you. <laughs> you know what? I think we need to go somewhere and question of what do you think fine <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah my man thank you don't worry hmm? don't worry all these things you're doing here the state is waiting for you <laughs> There's no seat for you. Thank you. Should I get you some food? Yeah, huh? which food? The one I cook. There's no food. Will you shut up? Enough! I... I have come to apologize to you all. Oh, I don't know what devil is getting into this family. I know you are very angry with me and I, I, I deserve it. Whatever anger you vent on me, I deserve. Because I didn't do what I should do. I'm part of the cause and I believe uncle died because of me. Of course, he died because of you. Emeka. And you know. Keep quiet. Emeka. Hamaka. 
Adani, please, forgive me. You all should not be in, in doubt how much I loved Uncle. I didn't know his sickness got worse. I didn't even know he was going to die in that manner. It breaks my heart every day knowing he died because I didn't do what I should have done. I have not been able to live with that. It torments me. That's why I'm asking you all to forgive me in any way. Please. It's been months now since Papa died. Why did you wait until now to do this? Because I didn't know how to come. I didn't have the courage to stand before you and apologize. I didn't even know what to say. You all are the only family I have. But now, I've realized that I must reconcile with you before I travel abroad. Eh? You're traveling out of the country? Yes. I'm going to America to study orthopedic medicine. All thanks to my cousin, Ugunna. But my mind won't be at rest until I have mended walls with you. That's why I'm asking you to forgive me in any way, please. Find it in your heart. I'll be going to Abuja tomorrow with him to get all the necessary things we need for the travel. Then from there, we'll take off and fly abroad. Hey, Namo, this is good news. Honestly, I'm so happy for you. I'm really happy for you. I know you are a good man. I know you have a good heart. I was only angry with you for not coming to Papa's aid when we needed you most. Still, I believe Papa wouldn't have died if it's not God's wish. Indeed. Thank you very much. Well, Uncle Onyeka, uh, we have heard what you said. And uh, like Adana rightly said, our father wouldn't have died if it wasn't God's wish. We are initially angry with you because you couldn't provide the money needed for his treatment. But let's just forget about the past and focus on the future. It's okay. Thank you, Emeka. Thank you, Adam. Amaka, thank you. Obele Wai. What? You, you want to hear me say forgive me? Yes, now. Me, I want to, unless you promise to take me to America someday. Ha! Why are you here? Okay, I promise you, I will take you to America someday. What? You are traveling to America? Yes, my dear, that's why I sent for you. Just like that? Look, Onye. I just want to thank you for everything you have done for me, for being a good friend. I just want to thank you for the support, for standing by me all through my emotional struggle. It's not easy, and I do not take it for granted. That is why I have called you to say I appreciate so much. <laughs> so what do you have for me in appreciation to all that? <laughs> well, I don't have anything at the moment, but I promise you I'll get you something, many things good when I'm coming back. All I ask for you at this time is to please remember me in your prayers every day. <laughs> you don't have to worry. I'll be praying for you. You will go in peace and you will come back in peace. Amen. <laughs> Just don't forget to buy things for me when coming back. I definitely will not forget that. Onyeka, onyobodo ibu. For you. Okay, <laughs> just take care. I will. Bye bye. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> Yay! I brought the string specifically for you. I want us to drink. Mary, just and talk about school. So tell me, images. What's up with school? How was school? School is just that. It's okay. Oh, come on. There must be something in school you guys just about. Give me the gist. You know I like gist. <laughs> There's nothing really interesting about school. Yeah. You don't look okay. What's up? What's going on? No, I'm not. It's about my husband. I've not set my eyes on him since we got married. And the last time we talked on phone, he's not even making any plans to visit anytime soon. 
Neither is he making any arrangements for me to come over there. Oh, come on. I thought the arrangement was for you to finish school first, then you come over there. No, no. That was not that was not the early arrangement. Eh? That was not the early arrangement before I accepted to marry him. That only changed after I got married to him. And you're very well aware of that. I guess it's because he's busy over there. I thought he explained these things to you. Yes, he did. And he also told me that he'll be coming to the country in six months. And do you know when he said that? Three years ago. It's been over three years. Eh? I, I, I don't know what, I'm just tired. This is no longer funny now. See, see, please, just calm down, okay? Nothing is going wrong here. Just focus on school. Get the best of grades and come out. And I'm sure once you're out of school, you go over there to meet him. Oh, sis, you don't understand, eh? See, if anyone had told me that at this time I was still in this country, I wouldn't have believed it, eh? I'm not even ashamed to show my face in the village. Because each time people see me, they start to bombard me with lots of questions. And I'm just so tired of answering their questions. Leave those people in the village, they will always talk. They're always talking. Eh? Just leave them. Pay, pay a deaf ear to them. Eh? My dear, don't worry. No, when I'll call him and I'll explain these things to him and I know they will change. No, if he will answer you. Eh? The, the last time we spoke was three months ago. Till now, nothing. I guess he's busy. And he will call you. Oh, how can he be so busy that he cannot even remember to call the, 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 the person he claims to love? Eh? Oh, God. So, I don't know what to say anymore. Eh? It's okay. Your husband will come back. I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. I'm not in a good mood. Ah. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Very 
Right senses will live a very beautiful and sexy girl like you alone for years. I, I won't blame you if you if you if you break your marriage vow due to loneliness. Can I stop it? Please don't say such abominable things in my room. What do you mean abominable? Look, so many women out there, they do it. Even those that their husbands warm their beds on daily basis, let alone someone like you. Enough of this, Kenny. Please, I don't think it's proper for you to, to discuss such matters in my room, please. Oh, come on, Chidera. What's wrong with that? We are two grown adults. We shouldn't be ashamed to discuss matters that affect our feelings and personal urge. Kenny, okay. I beg you, Gosling. Stop it. Leave my room, I'll see you in the morning. I need to sleep. Thank you. 
I want to talk to you about something. I don't like what you did last night. What's that again? I don't like the way you bashed into my room to discuss about my sex life. Oh, come on. Snap out of that, babe. I did that because you need it. You need to talk it over. It's not good to die in silence. And when have I ever complained to you? That is because you lack the courage to do that. I can understand perfectly the, the shame of discussing such a thing with, with someone else. But I'm not just anyone else. I am a guy that cares. A guy that cares so much about you. I feel for you, and you know it. Enough. Shut your mouth. No, we're not done. You we'll raised it up. And I mean it when I said I won't blame you if you go out when you try to get sexual satisfaction out there elsewhere. Because my cousin isn't getting it right. Okay, I will not have this conversation with you, okay? Listen. You started it all. Let's touch it up once and for all. Okay? <clears throat> this is the last time you ever research such topic, okay? I don't want to have this discussion with you anymore. It's better you come, let's finish it now. Once and for all. Let's be there. 
then what you do? What is going on here? What is going on here? Thank God you are back. Can you believe? Can they try to force himself on me? What? Is that true? That's a voice against me. Liar! You can't believe that Kenny has been trying to seduce me ever since you left this house. And now Kenny just tried to force himself on me. See, I don't know why we're talking about this. Please, let's just go to the police station. Come oh, I am but not letting you do that. There's no police that can come into Saps. No. What? What are you talking about? Like, are you trying to support what he just did? Okay, let me just break this down. I guess he did that because he feels for you. The distance my brother has created is not okay with me, all right? And trust me, I wouldn't blame you if you seek sexual satisfaction elsewhere, especially with Kenne. My cousin is more like a brother. believe you're saying what you just said. I just did. And you can take my word for it. Look, Kenna is a, is a handsome young man. And I'm very sure he can satisfy you very well. So, you, you know what? Okay, you know what? I promise you, none of this word is going to reach home. Trust me on that. Are you, are you guys are... Uh... Uh, 
you, you go and practically settle the matter. But I must warn, let no ear hear about it. It was an open Do you understand me? Huh? You don't get it, do you? I, 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 do, I, do. I said, Kenechuku tried to force himself on me. We heard you loud and clear. And that is what we've just resolved here now. What else do you want us to do? Mother. Resolved what? This is a very serious issue. I don't understand why you people are taking it so lightly. So we should uh, kill him, right? I will say. Can he try to rape me? Oh, please! Please! Enough! Uncle Han and Mother have explained this thing. They have made their points. What is there to understand? Okay. If you do not understand, I will make you understand. Let's just go upstairs and have a woman to woman talk. Then I'll explain more. Very simple. I know you understand me. There's no reason. Try and understand how she has left you. Let's go upstairs, let me explain it to you. Uncle. Uncle. Mm -hmm. Kenny tried to rape me. Are you deaf? I said, let us go upstairs. Why are you disturbing my uncle and mother? Why? Why are you stressing them? Uh, wait, wait, I, I'm coming. Um, you said Kenneth tried to rape you. Tried to. Uh, it is not a difficult thing to handle. Listen to me. Both of you should go in, go and settle it practically. So you will be satisfied, he will be. Then that's the settlement. So what effect did you have on the net? You used to have on the net. I just want to give God all the glory and thanks for everything. I'm overwhelmed. Honestly, I thank him for making my life turn around this good. You know, as soon as I stepped into America, everything I touched almost turned to gold. I've become a favored child. Honestly, in four months I had a job, hmm. a very lucrative job. I end well. I was doing well. I was I had already enrolled in school. I was going to school as well as working. Just three months ago, I decided to try out my hands in some business a friend introduced me to. Mm -hmm. Luckily for me, it boomed. And I made huge money in dollars. Hey. I couldn't understand all this. <laughs> so I said to myself, <clears throat> during the school holidays, I was going to come back and see all my people. Yes, sir. <laughs> so last week, we went on vacation. I decided to take a trip down to Nigeria and see all of you and see home and know how you're faring. That's very nice. That's very nice. I'm yes. so happy for you. Thank you. Ah! No, Mika. Uncle. You know, as God has blessed this family, His light has come. I want you to identify what you have interest in, whatever business you want to do. Yeah? Just tell me. Uncle. I will finance it. Uncle? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uncle, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> this family has to be uplifted. And what's your friend's name? Um, the one that plays football? Uh, Udoka. Udoka. Yes. Yes. I talked to a friend of mine who is a football manager and a scout as well. He has secured him an academy and a club in Europe. Ha! Hey! Udoka, no friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, hey. Oh, oh, Udoka will be very happy. Of to course, he'll be very happy. <laughs> I know he will. Ah, Udoka. Amaka unwa. Obele wine. Jara. 
Mezi. Aku a wengi baka. The baby of the house. Okay, you tell me. Do you want to continue schooling here in Nigeria or over there in America? It's here in Nigeria. Mm, no, it's not here in Nigeria. Uh, I want to school in America. <laughs> you know, uh, ever since you left, I've been the only one praying for your success. In this I hour. know. I know you have always prayed for my success. And I remember I made you a promise under the tree years ago before I traveled that I was going to take you to America. Yes, brother. I will make do my promise. Get ready in three weeks. We are going abroad. What is happening here? And why is everyone happy? Oh my God. I'm so sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to. Whoa! Good to see you. I'm just excited to see you too. <sighs> Don't worry. I promise I'm not going to sue you for the case. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my God. How have you been? I'm fine. Look at you. It's been ages. Oh my God. Wow. Did he see you? Yes. <sighs> That's him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, down. sit down first. Sit down first. Let me tell you. He has secured a football team in England. If you're going to, I'm telling you, you're going to England. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I know, I know you'll be very happy, don't worry. It feels so good to see you all hail and hearty after all these years. Yes, you might hear me. Imalo the most happening joint in a village. I get a thousand. But you know what I get? Wait, wait. I'll, I'll stay in the front. <laughs> remove this. Remove this chair. I just got you this to show you appreciation for everything you have done for me. You don't know what you mean to me. You don't know what you have done in my life. If not for you, I wonder if I could have survived the heartache and emotional trauma I went through. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think I actually did anything to merit all this from you. What you did is actually unquantifiable. I can't explain it, but I just want to say thank you. Okay? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, how have you been? I'm just here. So, you actually invited me here to witness this wonderful moment. Why don't you go ahead, as it is in the movies, kiss her, and probably put a ring on her finger. I don't care. I have moved on. Or is it because you just came back from overseas? Don't forget, my husband also lives there. Odera, what are you talking about? Shut your mouth. I wasn't talking to you. Don't try to pretend you don't know what is going on here. He probably invited me here to watch him, probably to kiss you and engage you. But I don't care, like I said. I've moved on. On the contrary, Chidera, I didn't come here for that. You know me too well. I am too big for such childish pranks. I wouldn't engage in such triviality. I invited you here to say thank you and appreciate you for making me who I am today. If not for you, I probably wouldn't have achieved my dream in life. If you hadn't rejected and abandoned me and broken my heart, I wouldn't be where I am today. And for that, I'm really grateful. Some other thing I am here for is to tell you the truth about your husband. What truth are we talking about? You see, three months ago, a friend of mine introduced me to a business in America. 
a business I invested in, I made huge money. While I was seeking out other channels for investment, I made a trip to Indonesia where I met a lot of boys from this part. And the information they gave me shocked me to my bones. Your husband, Kenneth, had been in jail for four years. He was arrested with some kilos of cocaine and incarcerated. As a matter of fact, he was executed about six weeks ago. As we speak now, I'm sorry, your husband is dead. <laughs> That's nonsense. I talk with my husband every day. We talk on the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, the person you've been speaking with is an arranged voice. Onyeka, what are you talking about? She has been married for almost four years now. And in those four years, has she ever seen him? So? So, you have never met him. Let me tell you the truth. I wouldn't lie to you. Kenneth is dead. And that is the truth. You can make inquiries. Ask Ata Onyeka. He's from this village. Ask Mora Okoye from your mother's village. I will give you the numbers if you want, so you can call them and confirm. My dear, you have been scammed. Onyeka. If this is a joke, it's not funny. Do you know the gravity of what you're saying? Okay, Nakali, don't be silly. I am too old to joke with an issue as sensitive as this. You can ask your friend Sophia, the one who's been tossing you around. Or better still, go to his parents and confront them. They will tell you the truth. Even Kenechuku, the Arenji, wanted to sleep with you forcefully. Am I lying? Chidera, all that glitters isn't gold. <laughs> Honey, get into the car, let me drop you. My daughter, to have my good evening in disguise. Hmm. Size on your bara, Mrs. Onya won't hmm. be. Poison is poison. Even if it is presented in a gold plate. Hey, wait. Get ready. Hmm? We go and see them now. Okay, but eh? okay. Let me. Let, let me. Hey, Abomma. Abomma, you deceived my daughter into marrying on your Hey.
and angles it has failed as far as our life it has failed Look, my brother, my late brother, made a lot of money. His wealth belongs to you and the children that you give us. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. So, it's just very simple. Yes. So simple. To hell with you and your money. Huh? Money is not everything. You're not getting it. Try and get it. Listen. We have paid your bride price, meaning that we have bought you completely from head to toe. Yes. Everything you have belongs to us. You are bonded to this family. Yes. So, on our and Banco, it is too late for you to go back. There is no way for you. Uncle Onye Wuru Wuru, you lie! I will refund every cobble. You bet on her. I'm not your in law. I will refund every cobble. I will refund it. There you go wrong again. It is easier said than done. You can sit down there and talk of anything you like, but practically it may not be possible. So, you may want to refund the money we paid, but we are not ready to accept it back. It's as simple as that. Now, listen. I keep telling you, we have bought your daughter completely. Traditionally, we bought her. We own her. She is ours. And the law has it that everything concerning her, her children, whatever, belong to Kenneth. I have not finished. Let me finish with him. Now, don't even dream of withdrawing her from us. Or refund him the money because that is never possible. Oh, how can I go, Kaibu? Is this what all this is all about? You are not ready to contend with me, are you? Are you? I should be asking you. As a matter of fact, I should be telling you that. I am telling you that you have no cause to fight this family at all. Eh? We can fight you. In fact, we are ready to fight you. By the law and otherwise. To any length. Yes. Because like I told you, we bought your daughter, we bought her. It's our, she is our property. Even if she marries to any place, anywhere, anytime, anyhow, and bears child or children, they all belong to us. Do you understand that? So, the better thing you do for yourself is don't even think of withdrawing her or refunding the money because it will not work. It is not possible. Let me advise you for your own good. Don't ever date this family. Call them market. The law. The law, you say? Yes. Thank God you just mentioned it. Because I strongly believe that the law is going to give me the justice I deserve. I sincerely doubt that. Because you see, money rules in this part of the world. And we have the means to, to bend you. Yes. Don't, don't, don't think about that. And I, I don't think the law condemns people's way of life and, and their tradition. No, I don't think so. Sophia. What, what have I ever done to you? are you doing this to me? Oh, no, 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 no. The question should be, what have we done to you? What are you doing to us? We, we, we gave you everything. Look, look at you, you look all beautiful. <laughs> I personally picked you up from the gutter. You know what? You have the choice of having sexual intercourse with any man of your choice. And you bear children for us, that's right? True, I mean, is that difficult? Okay, let me tell you what. Even me, it's just because of old age. At least, Bagui uh, Yobu, when I was young, you understand? <laughs> Even me. So, but then, so it's a free war. And you have, you have the license to you.
you are still insisting. Like I told you earlier, I will never do it. Don't ever try me. Because I will use every means to get you down. Don't try me. Don't dare. Because you'll be told not to follow this path and, and you won't listen. Look at your life. I told you that you called me old woman. You called me old school. Your father called me analog woman. Now you're going to talk again. Onyeka gave out of his little any. He bought you from. He paid your school fees. Great! And you. To shock you finally. Onyeka proposed to Onyinye. Now she will be completing her nursing school in America. Obodoyibo. Something you left and it slipped from your hand. Look at your life. Look at what you've done to yourself because of greed. You're here crying. I will not do that. Very soon. Very soon you'll never talk about again. You'll be shedding tears. You'll be shedding blood. Nonsense. Oh God. What have I done to myself? Good morning, madam. This one you came here this morning. I hope all is well. Adani, all is not well. I have made a very grievous mistake in my life. And I came to ask Onyeka to please forgive me. There's nothing I will not see in this world. So you have the guts to walk into this compound to look for my own Kulonyeka. Eh? Anyway, I see you haven't heard. For your information, Onyeka, Onyinye, Chiamaka, and Udoka have all gone to America. Hmm? See, looking for Onyeka here has no meaning. It makes no difference at all. Because as we speak right now, Onyeka has proposed to Onyinye and they are getting married soon in America. Mistake maker. Sorry, yo. Sorry, me. Oh, God. 
I should have known. I should have known that the one you have is worth more than a million. What have I done to myself? Are you crying? Please, I don't want you to stay here and cry. As you can see, I'm going out. If you want to cry, go to your father's house. Or you go to Sophia's house and cry. Not here. Now you know. The, 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 the one you have is better than the one you don't have. Now you know. I hope you will learn from your mistakes. Says who? Says who? Eh? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Did they, Baba, is there anybody standing here? See, I am not married to you or anyone else. Ah, what is it if you should leave me alone? I have returned everything you have given to me. What do you want again now? Please, people can now leave. Are you asking us to leave? Did I put what in my mouth to say it? She is no more interested. I will pay you back your money to the last farthing. Ah. Mm -hmm, uncle. Let us leave. Mm. Let's, Let's go. go. I'll be shivering. I have made a grievous mistake. The whole community is talking about me. They are all calling me names. Everyone now knows me as the girl that married a ghost husband. My daughter, you, you don't need to bother. It's a matter of months now. Everything I Stop it, Papa. You call
cause all these problems for me. You're a very wicked father. You pushed me into this because of your greed. I knew you hated me. But I never thought that it was this much, Papa. Why? I want him anti anoro. Every person in this area. When you tell the ear and he doesn't hear, when you cut off the head, he goes with it. Wow. You want to reach husband? Then you might do good with Search everywhere, search everywhere and bring out! Bring out! Search here! What is rubbish? What is it? Oh, gentlemen! So you brought in the police to arrest my innocent daughter, isn't it? Eh? Are you still standing there? I said go 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 inside and search everywhere. I said don't go. Papa, we will stop them, eh? It's all right. We will stop them. Don't worry, we shall see the winner. <laughs> we shall see the winner because I don't have money. Oh, it's all right. We shall see. Oh, you don't know me. We shall see. <laughs> I don't have money. Okay. We shall see the winner by how much? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Did you find her? Where is she? Did not see anybody. Did you check everywhere? I check everywhere. Ha! Okay, let's wait for the other one. Did you see her? I have searched everywhere. I can't find anything. I said you should look, look for every nook and of this house. I don't want to go into that house. Bring her out. There's a dead body at the backyard. Dead what? Could she be the one you're looking for? Oh, yeah. Dead what? Hey! Hey! Hey!
get money Money is not everything If you get money Money is not everything Money is not everything Don't marry because of money Because of money, some people say money can separate all things. Money can destroy you, can destroy your marriage. Don't marry because of money. Yeah. Don't marry because of material things. Because of money, don't marry because of money. Don't forget the person that is there for you when you are in difficulties. Remember the one that loved you. By your side, don't allow one to take away your happiness. Don't allow money to betray you, one that loves you. Remember. He sacrificed for you everything he had. Don't marry because of money. Hey, 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 hey. Don't marry because of money.